NGS analysis can uh, overcome certain difficulties with sequencing that Sanger has, but the reverse is also true. Uh, certain types of uh, sequencing analysis are more suitable for Sanger to analyze. The thing to remember about NGS is that it's a massively parallel analysis of very short fragments. So the reads are much shorter than the reads that we get with Sanger. They're roughly from 100 to 300 base pairs long. The upshot, though, is that there are millions of those reads generated for the sequence that can then be shotgun assembled. So the problems that come uh, with uh, NGS sequence analysis are primarily due to uh, long repeat elements. Those are difficult because if they're greater than the, uh, the span of the read, then it would be hard for NGS to tell you if that repeat is there in how many copies. There are technologies that are available in terms of bioinformatic analysis that can overcome this problem. And other issues like low complexity regions, those can be sequenced more efficiently with NGS.